Hey guys, it's Alexander Dahl with Manifest Brutality again. Uh, so once again, I have another interview. Uh, this series has been going along pretty well. I've got quite a number to yet get through, a couple of interviews left to do. Uh, so we'll just keep plugging through them. Here you go. All right, so I'm currently on the phone with Sinead. She's somebody that reached out to me about the current interview project, and I'm going to go ahead and give her the chance to introduce herself. Hey, everyone. My name is Sinead. I'm from Toronto, Canada, currently living in New York City, and I'm an artist, producer, and music technologist. I love bridging the gap between music and technology, and I'm always exploring new ways to do that through both my music and also my side projects. Awesome. So give me a little bit of background about how you first kind of identified and found music. Like, what was it uh, that you encountered that made you realize that you wanted that to be a part of your life? Yeah, so I started playing piano at the age of four. And um, like all my life, I've been wanting to be a classical pianist. I grew up um, doing training at the Royal Conservatory of Music. And then I later did a pre-college program there called the Phil and Eli Taylor Academy. And it was all very centered around classical music and performance. Um, and then I slowly realized um, in high school that it's really, really hard to make it as a classical pianist these days. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't really have the skill set to make it to the top, even though I was like good, it wasn't the best. And so I started exploring other ways that I could still keep my career in music. And I discovered production and I just fell in love with the production and songwriting process because it reminded me a lot of composing classical music and arranging. So I taught myself how to produce through YouTube videos. And then I slowly started writing my own songs. And then this past summer, I released my debut EP. Awesome. Uh, so through that process of kind of figuring out, uh, you know, music at an early age and then the direction that you wanted to go in, um, did you kind of uh, invite others to create music with you or were you kind of solely focused on making your own original stuff? Like what was your thought process there? Yeah, like, especially because I grew up as a pianist, I always had the notion of like, I'm the only person who's doing this. Um, it was very much like music in the box in the room. Mm -hmm. And like, um, I spent hours practicing alone in my room. And so <laughs> when it came to like production and songwriting, I was also like, oh, I got to do this alone in my room. Um, but <laughs> Yeah, so I've been trying to collaborate with um, some more people um, now that I'm at New York University. Um, and yeah, there's because there's so many really, really talented musicians here. So mm -hmm. um, I'm starting to write with other people. And it, it just takes some getting used to because I'm so used to writing alone. Sure. Um, since you kind of mentioned that that has been kind of a difficulty, uh, what? how would you define the differences between approaching music writing as a, a solo uh, writer versus having to suddenly work with other people that also want to write? Like, what sort of complications have you encountered? Well, for one, I can't really, like, write when somebody else is in the room because I, I just can't think. I can't focus. But um, it's something that I found that I actually like about writing with other people is that you can bounce ideas off of them. And, like, like when you can't think of a good lyric for this certain line, they can probably think of one. And you're always, like, validating each other's um, opinions and ideas. And I think that's actually really, really cool. Um, but when I'm writing alone, I feel like I can get stuff done a lot faster and, um, it's sort of like, like speeding through the process and like just diving straight through it. So it's, it's a different process. I think there's like pros and cons to both. Um, so yeah, like try, try what, um, try both and see what you like. Sure. Definitely. So, uh, going forward, like when you look at what you want to aspire to out of your career, whether it be, you know, a job in production or, uh, making a living doing original work, what do you think would best suit, uh, like the affection that you've put into music? Yeah. So like my ideal career like where I want to be in the future is like producing for artists and then making enough money from that to make my own side projects but like I don't want to be a famous artist I just want to 
be able to use that as like a cathartic release. Mm -hmm. And then I also want to do music technology. So I'm working on a startup right now that explores um, synoptic um, music synthesis. Mm -hmm. Um, So making music with the brain. Sure. And um, we're, um, yeah, we're just getting started, but it's um, a super cool project that I've been working on. And I'm really excited for where it's going to go in the future, because I think that that is what the future of music and music production is going to be. So give me a little bit of details on that. Are you talking about like reading the brainwave patterns to create like tonality or like control a specific kind of voice or interact with a synthesizer? Like what's the goal there? Yeah, exactly. So it's um so it's reading the brain waves to interact with a synthesizer and then um we're gonna use AI to um basically recreate the sound that you're thinking in your head. Nice. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you mentioned that you're involved in some other programs about getting people into music. Do you wanna talk about those at all? Yeah, so on my recent album that I'm going to be putting out this uh, at the end of this year. Um, I've got a bunch of um, people that I've been working with, um, mainly um, producers and also instrumentalists. Um, And yeah, we've just been recording um, and like writing together. So I'm pretty excited about that. (laughs) Excellent. So do you have like a projected like release time frame that you're looking at or is it all kind of still in development? It's sort of still in development, but we're looking at um, September for the full EP. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm going to release a bunch of singles before that. Awesome. Um, So why don't you share a couple stories about your time working in music that really kind of stand out with you? Something that is very memorable to you that kind of like has inspired you or made you realize that you're doing what you should be doing with your life. Oh, wow. There's, I think there's so many. Um, back when um, we could perform, uh, I I love going on stage. I love performing. Um, it's just really great seeing people, like, enjoying my music. Um, yeah, like, when whenever someone comes up to me and they say that they really loved my song or they, like, listen to my song all the time and it's on their playlist like that just makes me really happy and like my goal isn't to become like the next taylor swift or whatever like i just want my music to be able to touch at least a few people and that would make me really happy so yeah whenever whenever people say they really like my music that that really encourages and inspires me very cool. Um, you know, the the whole getting out and playing live thing has definitely been complicated uh, mm-hmm. pretty much for everybody that I talk to. Uh, do you have a group of musicians that you plan on playing with live or are you going to have to put together like a new uh, live musician group? I usually I've never played with um, a band. Well, I have played with a band before, but not like a, my own band. Um and I usually do my show solo, so um, I do a lot of live looping on stage okay, um, okay. with um, the Rolly Blocks. Mm-hmm. And so probably I'll keep doing that, but also um, since I'm here in New York, there's so many musicians that I've met, and I feel like I could definitely put together like a band of some sorts for like shows. Sure, so, yeah. definitely. Um, well, is there anything that you wanted to put out that I didn't ask you about? Mm, no that's 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 <laughs> okay. kind of it <laughs> um well where can people kind of check out see your stuff and listen to the music you're making you can find me on facebook instagram and twitter at shenada xoxo that's s-e-n-a-i-d-a xoxo i also have a youtube channel where i post music and vlogs and all the crazy other videos that i make and that's just under my name shenada and you can also find me on Apple Music, Spotify, um, whatever streaming platform you use under Shaneda. And my EP, First Love, is out now on all streaming platforms. Awesome. Um, and I like to kind of give the person that I'm interviewing essentially like the last word. So a message that resonates with you that you feel you're connected with. Whenever people ask me um, why I went into music, I always tell them that music is the only thing that I truly feel happy and satisfied doing. And that's the only thing I can see myself doing. So if you find something, it doesn't even have to be music 
um, but something that makes you just fall in love with it and you can't imagine yourself not doing it, then go for it and don't stop going for it. 